All right, so this video discusses arc length and the area of a sector. All right, so the length S of the arc intercepted on a circle of radius R by a central angle theta, and that angle has to be measured in radians. Then the length of that, of that arc is given by S equals R theta. So here's your circle, All right? And there's theta, okay? And this is R, this is R, and this right here, that arc, that's S. So the length, the length of this right here is given by the formula R times theta. So your radius, whatever your radius is, times theta. And theta, very, very important, theta must be in radians, right? Cannot be in degrees. So here's our first formula where it's a very simple formula if theta is in radians, right, rather than degrees. If it's in degrees, it's not going to look quite as, as simple, okay? So very nice formula, S equals R theta. So here's our first example. A circle has a radius of 11 inches. Find the length of the arc intercepted by a central angle. This right here, theta, that's called the central angle. Okay, by a central angle of 30 degrees. First thing we notice, we've got degrees. So we need to convert these, this 30 degrees into radians. So how do you do that? You take the 30 and you multiply it by what? Pi over 180. That's right. What does that give you? That gives you pi over 6. All right? So pi over 6 radians. So S equals R theta. So S equals the radius, which is 11. Theta, which is pi over 6. And that goes to 11 pi over 6. And as a decimal, that would go to 5.7596. And since we're in inches here, this would be inches. Everybody see that? It's pretty, pretty simple. But theta has to be in radians. The most common error is to go 11 times 30 and get 330 and 330 inches, right? For an angle that's only 30 degrees and the radius is only 11 inches, uh, hopefully that just doesn't even make sense, right? We'd realize that we made an error somewhere. Okay, so remember, convert degrees into radians, and then you can find the arc length, right? That's what this is called, the arc length. All right, one other formula I just want to show you, we're not going to do an example on, but it's, uh, it gives you the area of a sector. A sector being, all right, so there's your circle, there's thing. So this thing right here would be the sector. It's like the piece of the pie, all right, on a pizza. Okay, so... The area of the sector is given by, well, one-half times the radius squared times theta. And again, theta must be in radians. All right, so here's kind of the idea of how that's happening. All right, so if you've got... Okay, there's your sector. So this here would be theta, okay, and this is R. All right, so uh, if theta's in radians, then the, the sector makes up, this little sector right here, makes up what fraction of a complete circle? Well, it makes up theta divided by 2 pi. That would be just this little area right here, right? That would be the, the fraction. If it was all the way around, the fraction would be 1, right? But we're only doing just this little bit, so it's that ratio, theta divided by 2 pi. And then what's the area? What's the area of a circle? The area of a circle is pi r squared, right? This fraction times the entire area of your circle would give you just this little area right here. And so you'd have theta over 2 pi times pi r squared, pi r squared being the area of the entire circle. So really we're taking this fraction of the entire area of a circle, which gives us 1 half r squared theta. And that's if theta is in radians. Right? So that's where this formula is coming from, 1 half r squared times theta. All right, so again, a nice looking formula provided that theta is in radians and not degrees. All right, so like I said, I'm not going to do an example using this formula, uh, but whenever you need the area of a sector, uh, then 1 half times the radius squared times theta, theta in radians, will give you the answer. All right. 
Alright, that's it. Study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.